Hello and welcome to Best in Heritage. My name is Kevin McLean, speaking to you from Blackfoot Territory in Southern Alberta, Canada. My guest today is Mr. Lei, Director of the Anhui Museum in Hafei, China. Today, he will be sharing on the uh, Anhui's specific exhibition practices, namely how it reflects Chinese museums' efforts to connect to contemporary Chinese society work which was recently awarded Most Innovative Museum by the Chinese Museum Association. So maybe you can start by briefly describing the Anhui Museum. Anhui Museum, located in Hefei, East China, is the only provincial-level comprehensive museum in Anhui province, and it is also the first batch of national-level museums. Anhui Museum is now operated in two sites, the old museum established in 1956 is located in the center of the old urban area with an overall imitation of Soviet-style architecture. It is the first independently constructed provincial museum in China. The new museum established in 2011 is located in the newly developed urban area, featuring regional architectural characteristics, mainly displays the history and culture of the Anhui province. Anhui Museum now has a collection of more than 310,000 pieces of cultural relics, including many distinctive categories, such as bronzewares, portrait stones, Guizhou cultural relics, etc. There are eight basic exhibitions, Guizhou Ancient Architecture, Four Treasures of the Study in Anhui, Anbo Intelligence Space are most popular among the public. In the recent years, Anhui Museum has been highly recognized by the State Administration of Cultural Heritage and the Chinese Museum Association for its outstanding performance in displaying excellent regional culture and connecting contemporary diversified community. We have won top 10 National Museum Exhibition Excellence Award for three times in the title of National Most Innovative Museum in 2022. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. So what is the history of the award and the museum's efforts to engage its communities on regional and Anhui culture and contemporary Chinese society what are the awarded projects, rationale, objects, and aims? In the recent years, Anhui Museum has positioned the old museum as a modern thematic museum, curating a series of modern thematic exhibitions on the themes of reform and opening up, well-off society, and other major events experienced by the people themselves. First of all, with the curatorial concept of open door exhibition, we publicly issued a call for exhibits and received enthusiastic responses from various sectors of society, including relevant government departments, industry museums, well-known enterprises, the general public, etc. We collected a large number of old objects that are closely related to people's daily lives as well as monuments related to social changes and industrial development. In the process of collecting, the curators got to know the moving stories behind the exhibits by talking with the people who experienced the history. On the second hand, we use a micro narratives with emotional temperature as a starting point and use small stories to highlight the big era. For example, we invite witnesses to the exhibition hall to tell their own stories to the audience, thus implanting all of history into the exhibition narrative. We restore scenes such as the front house, the supply and the marketing agency, the crowdfunded weddings to create a theme of the changing times. We also invited the media to carry out a series of stories and old objects attracting the public's attention extensively and permanently. By deeply participating in the process of the exhibition, people deepen their common memory, enhance their sense of closeness and pride to history, and simultaneously build their group self. 
Thus, forming a widely cohesive regional cultural identity and constructing the contemporary Anhui spirit. Anhui spirit. In the new museum, to create a digital multimedia interactive exhibition called Love Technology and Creativity, Anhui Intelligence Space, based on Jianghuai culture, was built. We launched the first offline digital experience exhibition by telling the story of An Xiaobo's travels, and the nine cartoon characters of little mythical creatures were designed based on the prototype of Broadway. Through animated stories, interactive experiences, and the VR scene, we tell the story of an An Xiaobo and his friends meeting, traveling, and returning home, creating an immersive experience for the public that combines technology, uh, knowledge, and fun. Anhui Museum also relies on diversified social education activities and cultural and creative products, authorized research and development to promote the deep integration of museums with the external world. We join hands with Tencent, Baidu, TikTok, and other large internet platforms to form many new growth codes, such as cloud exhibitions, cloud live streaming, short videos, online games, and online salons, reaching an annual audience of tens of millions of people. We work with community and street cultural stations to build museums at the doorstep and commercial complexes to create a cultural gallery of Anhui museums to promote new exhibitions in the form of graphic panels. We cooperate with domestic famous enterprises to launch exquisite cultural and creative products, such as cell phone wallpapers, digital collections, a bite of Anhui Museum, and we organize a series of salon activities, such as cultural bazaar and ink pastry tasting. We cooperate with cultural institutions and hold large immersive cultural theme shows, such as the beauty of the Tang Dynasty and the ex exotic of the Western region based on annual special exhibitions, and the live broadcast on multiple platforms to vividly reproduce ancient cultural styles. Now I'm going to answer the second part of the question. I'm going to tell you uh, the rationale of our awarded project. So in recent years, the Chinese government has attached great importance to the development of museums, and the museum fever has continued to rise throughout the society. The national identity construction, post-museum concept, and the pan-museum way are the main driving factors for the development of museums in contemporary China. The Anhui Museum is an active actor in response to this contemporary demand. Founded in 1667, Anhui is a young province with a common memory based on modern history and contemporary social life, as well as the reconstruction of regional culture based on ancient cultural relics. Anhui Museum has curated a series of exhibitions on modern themes to evoke the common memory of the people's personal experience. Cooperated with social forces to carry out online and offline social education activities to lead cultural lifestyles and built an offline digital exhibition hall based on the Bronx culture to attract young people to pay attention to museum culture. These are our innovative practices to actively connect with contemporary communities and reconstruct regional culture. The aims of our awarded project is to actively play the role of a museum as a cultural hub, embrace digital technology and new media techniques, maximize the connection to contemporary diverse communities, tell stories of Anhui, deepen common memory, and reconstruct regional cultural identity. Also, as a theme of this year's International Museum Day suggests, we aim to be the key contributor to the well-being and to the sustainable development of our communities. All right.
So we're on to question number three. Mr. Lei, what were the specific practices that you feel impressed the Chinese Museum Association's award jury and why? The Chinese Museum Association Awards Jury has selected three of the country's most innovative museums in 2022. Among them, Zhejiang Provincial Museum focuses on the innovative process of cloud exhibition. Han Longcheng Site Museum focuses on the application of new materials and techniques for soil site protection. While Anhui Museum is highly regarded by the jury for curating a series of modern theme exhibitions. Generally speaking, China's mainstream museums tell historical stories and pass on excellent traditional culture based on the collections of cultural relics. Anhui Museum, on the other hand, takes the collection concept of collecting today for tomorrow a step further by exhibiting today for tomorrow. In 2022, the theme of International Museum Day is the power of museums, including the power of achieving sustainability, the power of innovating on digitalization and the accessibility, and the power of community building through education, which is what we are trying to achieve with this project. We believe that the power of museum goes to beyond the displays and use of historical artifacts in their collection, but can be more closely connected to contemporary society. By curating and presenting modern and contemporary themed exhibitions and proactively responding to important social issues of concern to the public, museums can also build a closer relationship with the public and thus play an active role in promoting social development and community building. So where the Anhui Museum embarked on this program, when it did, how it did, what is it about the Anhui Museum and, for example, maybe partly its staff, its communities, its institutional culture, that it was successful in receiving this award? As early as 2011, when the new museum was built, Anhui Museum had clearly regarded the new museum as the main operating museum, showcasing regional culture and the old museum as a modern thematic museum. The real landing of this project began in 2018, when it was the 40th anniversary of reform and opening up, and various commemorative activities were carried out nationwide. In the 40 years of reform and opening up, Anhui and Shenzhen are the most important coordinate points. Before, before Shenzhen became the first special economic zone in China in 1980 and created the world-renowned Shenzhen Speed. It was the all-around contract in Xiaogang village of Anhui that kicked off the reform and opening up in 1978. In 2000 years, Anhui took the lead in the country to carry out the pilot agricultural tax reform, promoting the end of China's agricultural tax history. It can be said that these 40 years of reform and opening up are the unforgettable common memory of Anhui people, which is of great significance to the construction of regional cultural identity. In the same year, Shenzhen Museum and Anhui Museum respectively launched the Great Hike Rises Pro River 40 years of Guangdong reform and opening up and my yearning 40 years of Anhui reform and opening up, which became typical cases of contemporary museums paying attention to social hotspots and responding to public concerns. Both exhibitions were awarded the special award for the top 10 best exhibitions in national museums and received enthusiastic responses and high recognition from the general public, which gave us great encouragement. In 2019, ICOM proposed museums as cultural hubs, the future of tradition, and encourage museums to act as active actors in the wide range of local initiatives. 
Based on our exhibition practice in 2018 and our deep reflection on the concept of museum, we have set the direction of our work as museums actively connecting contemporary society. We have curated a series of modern exhibitions in the old museum, and we are using digital technology to reach our unfreeze regional culture in the new museum. And we are working with social forces to carry out a wide range of community activities online and offline. Through these initiatives, we promote a museum that is truly deeply involved in people's daily lives. We are successful in receiving this award thanks to our institutional culture that encourages openness and innovation and in smooth implementation of the curatorial system. In the curating process of modern thematic exhibitions, we mobilize social forces such as people, non state owned museums, enterprises social organizations, etc., extensively to participate in curating through open-door exhibitions, and we give full play to the power of young staff and cultivate a team of young curators through all staff curation. The curatorial system of Anhui Museum makes clear that all staff can participate in curating exhibitions. They can really form curatorial team and declare exhibition themes, which will be selected into the exhibition resource base. And when some exhibition theme is approved, we will mobilize all of the resources to support the implementation of the exhibition. Our modern themed exhibitions, such as Reform and Opening Up, Well of Society, are all curated and implemented by the young curatorial team of the post 80s in a post-90. They have experienced the process of forming exhibitions from scratch and have brought the sensibility of the time into the understanding and interpretation of modern history so that they can break through the traditional paradigm and accurately and keenly grasp the empathetic psychology of the audience. Our digital experience exhibition for young people, I Shall Work Travel, also has a deep involvement of young curators who are highly sensitive to digital technology, animation, and VR to ensure the final presentation of the exhibition. Mr. Lei, did you find any part of the institution's work challenging? Like, were there, were there things that you, you found difficult at all? The biggest challenge is actually that the curating group start with no exhibit. As mentioned earlier, traditional curatorial exhibitions are based on historical relics in the collection, while modern thematic exhibitions first and foremost starts with the exhibit collection. No exhibit bring curators great anxiety and fear of the unknown. This may give traditional curators a greater sense of psychological oppression. But for young curators, the unknown is both frightening and exciting at the same time. They can learn more by participating in the process of collecting exhibits. The young curators contact and conversation with the recruits and the in-depth understanding of the personal stories behind the exhibits is in itself a two-way interactive process of community participation in the curatorial process and the implantation of oral history in the exhibition. We use the small changes in people's clothing, food, housing, and transportation to reflect the big era of economic takeoff and social progress. So in your article that you uh, submitted to Best in Heritage, you mentioned you are an important constructive force in contemporary Anhui culture. Has there been a specific result or results that inspire you to do more? If so, what was that result and why? 
In recent years, I've been using innovative practice of the connecting contemporary society has not only been highly recognized by the Chinese Museum Association, but also when the title of National Most Innovative Museum and National Museum Top 10 Display and Exhibition Excellence Promotion Special Award. At the same time, we have also received enthusiastic responses from the public. Especially from Anhui people, and the visitors' guestbook is full of pride and honor for the economic and social development of Anhui province. In addition, Anhui Museum has been awarded the title National and many other honorary titles. And we are also selected as the first batch of national science education bases, the Ministry of Education out of school study and a practice base, as well as Anhui Province Science Education Base, Anhui Province Science and Technology Popularization Base. These on, on the honorary titles are very encouraging to all of our staff, and the establishment of these bases will also promote the Anhui Museum to play a greater role in community participation and community building. We will do more and go further on the basis of our existing achievements. Uh, in 2023, we are planning the theme exhibition of the irrigation area of Pi Shihao, which will be launched in October, presenting a comprehensive portrait of the people in the process of the construction of the irrigation area of Pi Shihao, highlighting the spirit of the times of the people of Anhui who dared to break through and innovate scientifically. Based on the digital exhibition An Xiaobo's Travels, we create the cultural IP of little mythical creatures by building the An Xiaobo theme amusement park and cooperating with local well known commercial companies to create diversified little mythical creatures. Relying on traditional festivals, we hold immersive cultural experience activities and plan the flower festival ceremony, supporting the beauty of traditional Chinese clothing culture salon, so that tradition and fashion collide, constructing the aesthetic view of contemporary life and leading the new style of urban life. The reason for this is actually a sense of mission that drives us forward. Museums are one of the most trusted public cultural institutions in contemporary society, with great potential to promote social development and community building. We deserve to actively respond to public expectations and take the initiative to assume social responsibility. Anhui Museum will take public demand as a guide quality development as a goal, regional cultural construction as an objective, and a building a better life and a sustainable social development as a driver, and a put into practice the contemporary mission of museums on the ground. If there was something, a practice or practices, you wanted other cultural institutions to adopt, consider in their own efforts to connect audiences, to share stories, and to create a sense of place and community, what would it be and why? From documented history, you're focusing on contemporary society, from being a temple of knowledge to a public cultural space. Contemporary museums are increasingly taking the initiative to enter the public's daily life as an emerging cultural thing that pursues expected expression and communication. We believe that focusing on contemporary social issues and responding to public psychological expectations is an important way for contemporary museums to break through the traditional paradigm and become more active and proactive. Museums, whether planning exhibitions or community events, need to fit the demands of the times in their thematic choices, stay close to the public's daily lives in their emotional expressions and aesthetic or orientations, and make good use of technological achievement in their formal innovations to promote participation and interaction.
This requires both a macro perspective and a micro narrative. In our modern semantic exhibition practice, we are based on the current social reality and the spirit of the time, focusing on the selection of themes that respond to reality and disseminate the mainstream positive value orientation. At the same time, we inject micro-individual sensibility of the times into the exhibition narrative, strengthen the whole process of audience participation and interactive experience, and respond to the public's desire and expectation for the symbiotic relationship between me and the types, me and the region, and me and the communities, as well as the cultural identity of the group self. We are committed to transforming the museum from a one-way exhibition space into a two-way dialogue space by using modern exhibitions as visual focal points in a realization corridor. And it will truly become an ideal place to connect history, the present, and the future, to build regional cultural identities, to promote the exchange of diverse communities, and to meet the needs of visitors for recreation learning, and communication. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Le Mr. Lei. It, it really was a privilege to talk to you today. And I realize that it's very early there this morning where you are. So I'm just grateful that you um, made the effort to, to spend the time with us this morning. So thank you. OK, welcome to Anhui. And I'm looking forward to see you to come to Anhui New Zealand. Thank you again. Bye-bye.